Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing Flip Through Friday, the Sacred Traveler Oracle Cards by Denise Lynn. That's coming up right after this. Hi everybody, welcome. My name is Mel from Mel's Divination. I'm the owner, the operator, and the creator here at Mel's Divination. Um, on Fridays, we do Flip Through Fridays, which is a version, a series of mine, that we look at my collections of cards, oracle cards, tarot cards, Lenormand decks, anything that is card related that can be read for divination. Now, if you enjoy that kind of thing or have even decks that you'd like me to check out, follow, subscribe, like, and comment down below. On Wednesdays, we do Witchy, when witchy Wednesdays, and we talk about witchcraft, spirituality, new age, metaphysical, energy, tarot, and anything under that umbrella. Today, we're doing the Sacred Traveler Oracle Cards by Denise Lynn. And if you're unfamiliar with my style of how I do these flip throughs, first I go over the box, then I go over the guidebook, then I go over the cards to music. Now with the guidebook, I don't show it extensively, but I show it enough and I show it so that it's inside the camera and you can pause and read it. I zoom in on it enough so that you should be able to pause and read it on your own. Without further ado, we're going to get started. The box is matte. It's a nice, smooth matte deck, uh, deck and box, actually. And this is what the back looks like. You can buy it for, at the time when I purchased it, it was $19.99. I probably bought it on sale because it's a Hay House deck, and Hay House has some pretty awesome sales. Yeah, see, Hay House Publisher. So I probably bought this for half price at Hay House is likely what happened. It's 52 cards in the deck. I believe this is the only deck I own by Denise Lynn. The inside is a very soft purple. And then we have guidebook and the deck. So let's talk about the deck super quick. It's just a very nice, thick cardstock, a very smooth mat, and the back is a mandala, which is really pretty. It's very easy to shuffle because it's a nice, smooth mat. All right, we're going to go over the guidebook, and then we'll get to the cards. Let's zoom in a little bit on the guidebook. Let's look at the back of the guidebook. So this introduces... Denise Lynn a little bit and what this deck is about. And now we're going to jump right in. This isn't a glare, it's actually written that way, so the top of sacred is, is lighter. Let's zoom into the introduction so you can read that yourself. She talks about smudging. 
He talks about getting a book of hers, calling spirit, centering, activating, cleansing the cards. How to interpret the cards. Different ways of reading, pulling a card daily, pulling a card for the month. Five card spread. Medicine wheel spread. She seems to be talking about things that are a little off topic. Reading signs in your life, interpreting dreams. It's not really part of this. And then it gets right into the cards. Card meaning. And what the sacred traveler wants you to know. And that's the whole thing. Every card is like that. And then it gets into an about the author. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay. It's the back of the guidebook. I think I already showed that. Yeah, I did. That's okay. Okay. And we're going to start the flip through now. The music is on. And we are going to flip through each card. There's no reversals in these that I have. I don't read these with reversals. And we'll talk about the accuracy when I am all done. Enjoy. They are matte, as I mentioned, not glossy.
That about does it for our Sacred Traveler deck by Denise Lynn. I have used this deck quite a bit. I've had it for a while. I honestly am not sure. Several years now, for sure. I don't know how many years, but several years for sure. And I don't use it constantly. I use it when I'm guided to, depending on the client, depending on the situation, depending on the question. Everything that I have found in it tends to ring true, but I also use my intuition. So when I pull a card, let's say Rejuvenating Rain, I don't just tell the client, oh, you got Rejuvenating Rain, clear the past, heal the present. I also talk about what I see in the picture. I talk about what I feel in the picture. It's different for every person. So that is something, and what, what other intuitive hits do I get? That is something that I don't, I don't get very literal with these cards. I use them as a trigger for my intuition. That's something that I recommend if you choose to use some kind of deck like this. I hope that helps you. Comment down below if you've used this deck. I will post links down below of where you can find it. It's likely best if it's still on Hay House for you to find it on Hay House when they have a sale because they have some pretty amazing sales. And that is all for today. Let me know what you think. I hope you have an awesome day. Comment, like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.